there is one iconic symbol of achieving your goals, then it is climbing the Mount Everest. Not only because it is the highest peak in the world, but because while climbing it, people need to have victory. Not, it is not, it will be wrong to say that it is a victory over the mountain. It is a victory over their own body and their own mind. Let me tell you the story of Bachandri Pal. Bachandri Pal was selected to be part of the expedition that was going to the Mount Everest in the year 1984. Uh, she considered herself a novice at that time, but when given the opportunity, she took it. And when they had climbed up to the third base camp, they are, there, there is a one, one first level base camp, second level and third level. She had reached the third level base camp. And then what happened was that one night at midnight, she heard a huge blast. And that blast was very loud, so loud that she, she realized immediately that it was an avalanche. And very soon she felt uh, that a big lump of ice had hit her head. And immediately she was buried under snow. And at that moment in time, she says she was thinking that, well, this is the end. I am under the avalanche and I am waiting for my death. But after some time, she saw that one of her teammates, Shering, was moving and coming out of the snow. At that point in time, that desire to live came back within her and she shouted and Shering helped her out. Then they were taken to the lower camp for treatment and regaining their strength. And because many people had been injured very badly, uh, many of them opted out. Each one was asked separately by the group leader whether they would want to go up to the Mount Everest or not. Now they had all experienced this. They were all injured in some way, injured not only physically, but maybe mentally. When it came to Bachandri, she said, yes, given the opportunity, I would like to climb. And we know that after that, she just went up. And as you see, when we overcome that limitation within ourselves, what happens that she had exhausted her own supply of oxygen. But when she was going to the third base camp, she saw that somebody from her team, N.D. Sherpa, she remembers him to be, uh, was bringing back a cylinder of oxygen for her and with that the heaviness that she was feeling in climbing was gone and she was able to reach the Mount Everest. So each one of us might be having this kind of a moment in our lives where we overcame our own physical and mental roadblocks, physical and mental limitations and we reached our goals. So would you like to share those moments with me? Please write down in the comments, please share your comments of your Everest moments in your life.